Hi everyone. The problem now that we are going to solve involves the input table as m info. This table has below columns that is m id which is the employee id, m name that is the employee name, m location which is the employee location and m manager id which is the id of the manager to which this employee reports. So each entry represents uh, employee information which has the information like ID, name and location of the employee along with the ID of the manager to which this employee reports. So for example, uh, this employee Vikas Kumar reports to employee with ID 411 and 411 is Sudeep. So Vikas reports to Sudeep. Similarly, this employee Girdhar reports to employee ID 530 and 530 is Vikas. So Girdhar reports to Vikas. Now as part of the output, we need to find out all the managers to whom there are at least two employees. So minimum two and max can be anything. Employees are directly reporting to those managers. So for example, here if we see in the output, we have two managers that is Sudeep to whom there are three employees reporting that is Sudeep has the employee ID 411 and these are the three employees who are reporting to Sudeep with employee ID 411. Similarly, we have another manager Vikas with employee ID 530. So there are two employees reporting to this employee ID that is 530. So those are Girdhar and Bhavna. So these employees are reporting to Vikas. So we have to find out as part of the output all the managers to whom there are minimum two employees that are directly reporting. So how do we solve this problem? So first let's form the approach that we will use to get the output. So let's copy the input data into an excel sheet and form the approach. This is our input data. Now if we see the input data, the last column indicates who is the manager and this column also gives information like if we count the entries it gives the information of how many employees report to a particular manager. So for example, if we see this, it indicates that there are three employees reporting to this manager. Similarly, if we see this, it indicates that there are two employees reporting to manager ID 530. So what we will do is we will take a count of number of entries that are present for this manager ID. Okay, so what we will do is out of this column, out of this employee manager ID column for each of the entry, okay, we have basically four manager IDs here. For each of the entry, we will find the total count of reportees. That is how many employees are reporting to this manager ID. So we will get 1, 3, 2, 1. Okay, 1, 3, 2, 1. So out of this, we only need the managers to whom two or more employees are reporting. That is at least two employees are reporting. So we will filter out and get this data. So we will filter on this column to have the value as greater than equal to 2 and we will get this to this to as our output and now what we have to do is we have to just get the information as to who are these employees with employee id 411 and 530 so that we can get by joining with the source table so when we join with the source table on the employee id and this column we can get the details of the particular employee. 
so for 411 we can identify that it is sudeep and for 530 we can identify that it is the entry is for vikas so this way we will solve the problem so now let's write the query and implement the approach that we just discussed okay so now we will operate on the input table that is amp info so on this table what we will do is we will count the number of entries that each manager id has okay so that will give us the number of employees that are reporting to the particular managers so how we will do it is on this manager id column we will do a grouping so we will group by this column amp manager id and we will find the total count that is the total entries so this will be the total reportee that is the total employees that are reporting to this manager id so let's run this and see the output so this is the output that we have now we have the information that for a particular manager id how many employees are reporting to that manager but what is the ask the ask is we only want to find the manager who have at least two employees directly reporting to them so we are interested only in these managers we do not want any managers having less than two employees reporting to them so basically we have to eliminate the first and the fourth record so what we will do is we will add a filtering condition after the group by and that we will do using the having clause what we will say is after the grouping if the count is greater than or equal to 2 so keep the records so we are operating on this data so keep the records where this value is greater than or equal to 2 so keep only the second and third record so let's run and see this output so we have got the required output so we have identified the managers to whom there are at least two employees who are directly reporting now the only part that is left is we have to find the information pertaining to this ids like who are these employees okay we have to find their name location so that information we will fetch by joining with this main table so what we will do is let's store this as a form of a cte so let's create a cte here and let us call this as manager cte so, so this is what we have generated now now we will operate on this data that is manager cte and we will join with the main table and we will join on this column and the employee id column to retrieve the required details okay so let's give the alias as m for this table we will do a left join and we will join with the main table that is m info and let's give the alias for this main table as e and now we will specify the joining condition that is m dot employee manager id okay so we are taking the manager id from the data that we just retrieved and that we will join with the employee id of the main table so this is the table on which we are joining so once the joining is done what all details we need so from the suit from this table that we retrieved we need the id okay so this will be the id column so let's give the alias as manager id okay let's give the alias as manager id then what other columns we need so we need the information so from this table we need these two details that is employee manager id and the total reportee so let's take that total reportee so it will come from this table total reportee okay and when we join with this table we have to fetch the name and the location so this we will take from the source table 
which is having alias as E. So we will give the amp name. Let's call it as manager name and the amp location. Let's call it as manager location. So we have completed the query. Let's execute it and see the output. So this is the output that we have got. And this is what we were looking for. So as we can see in the data, only there were two managers for, to whom there were more than two employees that were reporting. One was with employee ID 411, that is Sudeep. And the second manager was with employee ID 530, to whom there were two employees who were reporting. And this manager was 530 is Vikas. So that is the output we have got. We have identified the managers to whom there are at least two employees who are directly reporting. Now to summarize the query that uh, we have implemented. So this is what we have done. We have done the aggregation on the manager ID column and uh, got the total count of the employees who are reporting to them. And we have only kept those managers who have at least two employees who are reporting. So once we have the employee manager details, it's very simple. We just join with the main table employee info and fetch the required information of employee manager name and employee location. And ID and total reportee we have already fetched here. So the same we will refer from this CTE. So this way we have solved the problem and got the required solution. So please go through it. We will be adding the create table and insert statement in the description. If you have any alternate solution, please post it in the comments. And if you have any feedback, please post in the comments. Please share this video with your friends who may find it useful. And please like if you found this video useful. And subscribe the channel if you have not yet subscribed. Thank you.